Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about magnetic field through a straight conductor. Okay, so here I am drawing a circuit diagram in which I will show that let's say it is a battery. This is the ammeter. Okay and the current is flowing through a variable resistor and it is a sheet where we will see the deflection of the magnetic field okay so let's say if the current is flowing in the direction this and it is entering in the into the sheet like this so the magnetic fields in this uh, rectangular sheet will be like in circular directions okay and it is clockwise because it follows the right hand thumb rule so what right hand thumb rule states that is whenever an electric field let's say this is an electric field goes in this direction this is the hand i am drawing here and the thumb of the hand is pointing in this direction let's say okay so this is your thumb so if the thumb is pointing in this direction then the magnetic field around it will be like this in which the direction of the fingers fold students okay so this is called as right hand thumb rule which states that imagine that you are holding a current carrying state current carrying straight conductor in your hand straight conductor in your hand in your right hand okay so it is right hand thumb rule in your right hand such that the direction of the thumb such that the direction of the thumb points towards point towards the direction of current so let's say this is the direction of current okay so then your fingers then your fingers will wrap around the will wrap around the conductor in the direction conductor in the direction of the field lines of magnetic field okay students so i hope let's say if your thumb is pointing downwards then the uh, the uh, direction of the uh, folding of your fingers will give the direction of the field lines of magnetic field okay students so now i hope that you are pretty clear about what is a uh, right hand thumb rule okay so in the next class we will discuss about the magnetic field due to a circular loop okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on magnetic field due to a circular loop thank you happy learning